So this is the Traveler Pro Ball and the Elite Ball. The soft ball I'm going to put into my calves, applying a nice trigger point area. I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure, putting my limb on top and doing a little bit of a wiggle, creating some force into the ball and a little bit of a torque. And if I want to put a little bit more pressure, I'm going to release deeper with a little bit more pressure with my body weight. And you can do this on any area of the body because the travel of the balls are unique and they are very tacky and grippy. You can grip and torque the fascia, the skin, and manipulate areas that are, are really tight and uh, very difficult to release on your own. So you can put the hard ball into different areas like the piriformis that gets really sticky and tight into the glute bead, glute max, and really open up there. And alternating the balls into the lower back where it's a little bit more sensitive and just opening up areas that are really tight, applying some pressure. You can change the angle of your legs, your limbs, your body pressure pushing in with your core, wiggling again, changing the area, readjusting it into the upper traps. Okay, you can manipulate the area with your arm, reaching across and areas reaching again, applying a bit more pressure in, lifting up the body, and wiggling. Making sure that you do this on both sides. You can also do it on the wall. So for people who have a hard time getting down to the ground, you can do this on the wall in their upper traps. Normally do this when I'm standing, and you can manipulate into the upper traps like this. Um, anyone can really do this in a chair, if they're sitting down um, on a chair or a couch for an old person, anywhere, because the balls are grippy, um, they won't slide off the wall, so this is the hard, is elite, and the pro is very, very therapeutic, um, so those are the Traveler TR balls. This is the Traveler 4.3. Now, you can really get into the entire body much more thoroughly on the whole body quicker, because of the density and the surface area of traveler. So again, we're working in techniques, we're applying good compression um, with our body, creating more compression and force downwards. And we're not just rolling back and forth, we're doing a rocking and rolling style, where we're sliding the surfaces of the fascia, we're gripping it as we're creating some, some shear motion and we're doing some torque with changing the angle of our limbs and applying compression. So sheer compression and torque are the best ways to getting deep into the travel roller. And you can work through the entire body, in through the hamstrings, the piriformis and glutes as well. There's many ways you can do this with some gentle, really small shimmying actions into the travel roller because it is firm and really get way deeper than any other foam roller because it's very specific to the areas that you reach. In through the low back, you want to roll one erector spinae muscle at a time because it's very firm. You don't want to roll through the middle of the low back. And into the thoracic spine, you can really get into their deep, changing the angle and breathing into the roller. You can do lots of good thoracic extensions on here to restore the curve of the spine. And you can do that a little bit more as you like. And repositioning the travel roller like a pillow, the back of the neck. It fits very ergonomically in the back of the neck, where you can do the gentle nose, side to side, and then the head nods up and down. It's not like the other foam rollers that are so big and bulky. It really fits into the back of the, the neck much better. Okay, and you can repeat this all onto the front side of your body on the superficial front line, um, to tibialis interior. And this is where you're practicing that good um, posture and that bridging technique. Okay, both legs. And again, I'm just rolling very quickly through this just to show you. And again, bridging, creating that core. Rolling through the quad, but we're also doing this rocking side to side. 
through here, in through the hip flexors. Real quick, short motions, quick. Removing that muscle inhibition as we're doing this. Changing the angle and up. Changing the angle of the leg. And we can get in through the IT band, but we don't recommend rolling the IT band, but more focusing on to the quad and the hamstrings. And you can also get in through the lats. So into the lats, we can really go chest up, short motions in here, and all through the lats, you can rotate to the front of the pecs and get in there as well. You can open this up in here, or just pausing and holding, just a bit more restorative rolling. And into the deltoids as well, into the front, the deltoid and the back. You can roll forearms, whatever you need to do. Again, all of these things can be done on the wall for participants. You can't get down on the ground. It is grippy, so you can do some upper shoulder rolling on here when you're standing, and some pec rolling as well. Okay, so this is a bit more information on the Travel Roller Elite 10 Pro and the Travel Roller 4.3.